Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to do a quick 10 card tarot reading uh, using the Smithwaite deck. And we'll pull a couple of angel prayer cards as well just to get started. This reading is for Pisces. Collective energies for Pisces. Anybody with a strong Pisces placement. Or if you just feel intuitively guided to these regular messages that I post. Everybody here is welcome. All right, we've got two cards coming out. Underneath the bottom of the deck is the Miracle of Forgiveness. Thank you, Jeremy, for helping me to understand the process of forgiveness. So we have study and learning. Some of you may actually be in school. Um, but yeah, this is about learning lessons in life and uh, learning about a situation now, this learning is a transformative process. It's changing your life as you know it. The more knowledge you gain, the more power you gain, and the more abundance you unlock. Very beautiful. Let's do a quick shuffle. Underneath the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. So this is an energy of... Um, a lot of, uh, well, group group energy with the Five of Wands as a group of people. And then with the Ten of Swords, it's a bunch of uh, painful memories, you know? Uh, so maybe there's a big group of people that you are uh, thinking of right now when, when I talk about a group of people with painful memories attached to them. Could be your family, could be a school or a workplace. A place where you experience some form of letdown, maybe even trauma, um, a, you know, betrayal or abuse and uh, neglect at the very least, you know, or disrespect, you know, all those things that you've had to learn from and transform from. You had to figure out who you were throughout those processes as well rediscover who you really are. So instead of getting lost in the crowd. So we have the world. We have the king of swords and the five of wands backed out again. We have the eight of pentacles and the nine of wands. Okay, so this top row represents the current moment, and then we have the past over here on the top right. In the bottom corner here is the future, the Queen of Wands. We have the King of Wands right next to it, representing you. We have the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician card. There's quite a few major arcana in this reading. Underneath the bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles, which can talk about um, rejection, abandonment, loss. And uh, being the overall energy, we've got two fives here, which is chaos and change. I feel like you've been let down by a big group of people and you've been building yourself up ever since and I feel like you've built up some walls here to protect you from uh, these people and um it's unfortunate because I do feel like there's like a, a ring leader here. Here's the ring with the world card and here's the leader, the king of swords reversed. That is kind of like um, in charge of this crowd response towards you. 
No matter what you've done, you didn't deserve to be antagonized by a whole group of people, you know? When obviously there was some type of showdown or or disrespect or or disconnect between you and this King of Swords reversed. Um, this is a person who's very cold, very calculating, very uh, manipulative emotionally, intellectually. They know how to spin the words to, uh, you know, get you to pay attention to their story. And yeah, the story isn't over with the world reversed. It's it's an un, it's an open chapter in the book, you know. Uh, same as with the Wheel of Fortune reversed in the Fears and Desires position down here. You know, that's a repeating cycle. That's karma that's still playing out. It's a situation that you're kind of stuck in, building upon your defenses. It's almost as if you're anticipating some type of attack in the future. And that is a stress response, you know. Um, is it really going to happen? Um, only the fates will know. I do feel like um, you've been building yourself up is what I keep seeing from these two cards. They go really well together here today. And as you've been building yourself up, you've been building your confidence and you've been um, in this King of Wands energy, which is someone who has less resources or connections or they're not as good as with their words as the King of Swords, but they have, uh, you know, an undeniable passion and they, you can't doubt the effort they put into things. They're charismatic charismatic but does that really in you know uh give respect um you know it could be kind of seen as a joker you could be kind of seen as someone who you know lightens the mood but um i'm looking at you facing this queen of wands reversed in the future position and it feels like what i'm hearing is that this queen of wands reversed is being thrown under the bus so to speak um, a sacrificial lamb is what I'm hearing. They're being, um, attacked just like you were by this King of Swords reversed. And you have some type of relationship with this Queen of Wands here. It could be a sister, it could be a, a partner of yours at work. Um, you know, we're dealing with a bully here. I don't like to use that word, but... Um, here we have the King of Swords, which is that, you know, intense, sometimes even narcissistic energy. Then we have the people in, in the Five of Wands beating each other with sticks, you know, the crowd mindset. Um, and I feel like, they, you know, someone's been beating to death some type of... Um, uh, situation that you've gone through. And, you know, it's in the past now. You've transformed from that now. You're no longer defined by your past. You've learned from your situations. And you come out the other side stronger, even though it's been really difficult to deal with this antagonistic energy. Um, I do feel like with the Magician card, it's an opportunity for you and maybe even this person who is also kind of going through it right now to partner up. Here we have the King and Queen of Wands, the Divine Partnership, and work together in some way to uh, turn this situation around. Whether it means defending and going against another person, or simply supporting each other, regaining some form of a relationship that may have been damaged by the other person. definitely a, a group energy and a third party dynamic energy with these three court cards and with this five of wands energy there's something here about status as well or 
age. Or some form of discrimination that's going on. Yeah, and it's all being recorded. It's all being witnessed by this high priestess energy. You know, I'm, I'm seeing this high priestess energy as almost as if it's your spirit guides kind of watching the situation silently, not really able to do anything except for support our positive growth and our positive intentions. But they have to kind of sit back and watch when they see a self-destructive path happening with other people. And that's what this King of Swords or Queen of Swords or whatever gender this person is, is doing for themselves. They're destroying themselves. And unfortunately you were caught in the, in the cannon fire, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> but you're gaining popularity. When you join up forces with this person who was kind of kicked to the curb or thrown under the bus, so to speak. And I don't like using that type of terminology, but uh, right here, there's some type of recovery of a relationship. Um, there's something here, but the high priestess that's like not telling me something in this reading, something I'm missing. Almost like there's a, a, a part to this story that... Um, can be activated with the magician energy here you know um, even though you may have been driven apart from your person here because of somebody else I do feel like there's a coming together stronger than before I'm seeing two very magical people down here with the King and Queen of Wands. And I'm also seeing two very magical people with the High Priestess and the Magician. And it's an interesting dynamic because um, we've got a powerful Manifestors here. We've got powerful um, Intuition as well on this bottom row. So I do feel like um, you've been gaining access to higher levels of wisdom, higher levels of manifestation. The universe hasn't been sleeping on you. You've been transforming throughout this process and you haven't been um, staying in this energy of the five of pentacles. You know, if it was upright, I would say that you were, you know, licking your wounds right now, but um, I think you've had a big realization, a big wake-up call about the people around you and what you're made out of yourself, and you've been making the best of it with the Three of Pentacles here. So yeah, you're coming together stronger than ever with someone from your past here. Or you're from your current, and they might not be completely from your past. They could be just someone who has been, you know caught up in this cycle with you and I'm seeing this magician holding a candle you know reigniting relighting the relationship relighting the flame And there's something here about karma and the next cycle, the next big change in your life comes from you uniting with this person. So you're almost unlocking a whole new level with these two card, these three cards right here, a whole new level. And the chapter hasn't closed until this point because you were still waiting for somebody to kind of realize that they've been 
that they were the next person on this person on your antagonist's uh, list here to pick on, you know, or to let down, or to betray, or to, or to overpower in some way. So I do feel like this King of Swords, regardless of gender, does have a lot of power in this reading. But somehow that's not going to matter in the future. They're going to fade into the crowd. Here's the crowd. Okay. That's what I've got for your reading. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon.